Today's video is on Morse code. How do you learn the Morse code? It seems so difficult. Dits and Dawes. Well, let me tell you, forget Dits and Dawes. I'm going to show you how to memorize the code and make it simple to understand and hopefully you'll get it quickly and then you can work on improving your speed. So let's get into it. You say you want to learn Morse code? I'm going to teach you. I contend that Morse code is not a series of dits and dahs, that for an audio medium you should forget dits and dahs. Don't think about it as dits and dahs because if you stop and think how many dits and dahs are in an F for instance, by the time you figure that out in your brain, which is only, only a millisecond or two, you're still going to be behind. You're going to miss copy and you're going to make mistakes. Morse code for radio is a series of rhythm patterns. Each letter, each character, each punctuation mark is a rhythm pattern. Memorize the rhythm patterns. Listen to it like it's your favorite song. Sing along with it. Literally, sing along with it. And memorize the rhythm patterns. And before you know it, you will know the code. You will have it memorized. Once you have it memorized, you can pick up speed. Please do not make the mistake of just because you're slow at speed, and you will be slow at speed at first, everyone is, don't make this mistake. Don't make an F because that's very hard to copy. No matter how many words per minute you're sending, please make an F. Rhythm pattern. Even if you're sending at five words a minute, you still send an F that way. Um, words per minute that you send is exactly that, how many words per minute you're sending, not how fast you're keying each character. So be careful because if you key too slow, like I did initially, someone trying to receive that doesn't know if you're sending an F or an I and an N. So that's what you have to be aware of. Always send it, and as you improve in speed, instead of it'll become, but that's an improvement in speed. But don't send it so slow it's not understandable okay so here we go rhythm patterns alright you should have a sheet in front of you you can print it off the internet at about a thousand places just look at a sheet and it will tell you an A is da da or it will show you dit da and a B is da dit 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 don't think of it in those terms think of it as if you're singing it A da da B da did it it C da di da it like this A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z 1 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. Okay, you know the rhythm patterns and you can sing them to yourself. Sing them to yourself over and over until it's part of you. That's what you have to do. F, did it, dot it. C, da di da it. Z, da da did it. X, da di da da. One, da 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 da. Six, da di da did it. Sing it to yourself. Do not try to pronounce dit dit da dit. Sorry about that. Was my two meter radio. Do not try to pronounce dit dit da dit. It your brain is is not going to function fast enough for you to translate all that. Once you understand these rhythm patterns and once you know them and once they're part of your brain, like think of it as your favorite song. You know your favorite songs. You know how it goes. You know the words. You know the inflections. This is how it is with Morse code. Each letter and character is a little song. It's a little rhythm pattern. It's a little way for you to memorize it. So pay attention to that. Do it. Sing it to yourself. Then try to make your hand do it on a key. Now you may have a bunch of different keys out there. Right now, what I'm showing you is um, an old J38 key. Let me adjust the camera. You can see the key there. It's just an old J38 straight key. Just like a telegraph key you, you might think of if you were drawing a telegraph key. And uh, it's very simple to operate. Here are the two poles. Here's the adjustment for the up and down. And here's the adjustment for the spring for the tightness of the key. I keep mine pretty tight. So A, B, C. Really simple. Um, it gets a little more complicated if, if you're using a bug, depending on what you have. Or if you have an electronic keyer, um, it really depends on what you have. Um, what I'm going to use in this series is this J38 key because the concentration is going to be on learning the code, learning what it sounds like, memorizing it, burning it into your brain, and then you can worry about getting faster and using whatever kind of key you enjoy using. But for now, just do that. I know that there are other characters. Um, there's um, DE, this is, there's AR, end of message, SK, uh, end of contact. There's a bunch of different characters for you to learn. You can look all those up and you can look at the dits and the da's and you can learn to sing that to yourself, okay? Just like you're learning these. But um, remember this alphabet, go over it and over it until it's just like your favorite song in your head, something you can't forget. And we'll get on to the next lesson very soon. So, until then, to uh, sing the rhythm patterns. Practice doing it. Do it till it's second nature. Another little trick is everywhere you go, every sign you see, sing it to yourself in Morse code. You know, if you're, if you're driving, if you're uh, reading, if you're um, just sitting around, things you see on TV, you see a sign, you see something spelled out, sing it to yourself in Morse code. You can do that and uh, it won't take you long to learn it. I guarantee you. 
We did it that way when I was in the Navy a lot of years ago, and we learned it very quickly, very accurately, and we learned to improve our speed very soon after we learned the code. So you can do the same. Learn the code, learn the rhythm patterns, learn to sing it, make it second nature. You will be sending and receiving before you know it, I hope with me, and you will be improving your speed faster than you believe was ever possible. So practice, 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 sing, sing, sing to yourself. This is Jim, W5FIV. Please leave any questions that you have in the comments section. I would love to answer your questions. I have absolutely no qualms about answering your questions. Leave them there. I will answer them. Uh, please leave your comments and please subscribe to the channel. Uh, you know how that helps me out. You guys know how this works, so I won't go through all that. But uh, please subscribe, leave your questions, leave your comments. This is Jim, W5FIV, 73.